When starting Desperado for the first time, this screen will pop up asking you to select a machine. Uh, this video won't cover the measurement units and the project type is just about the machine. As you can see, very many machines are listed. They're alphabetically listed under the name of the manufacturer. For instance, the Hi-Z machines. You should look for them under the manufacturer's name, CNC Step. Okay, well, that's fine when your machine is on this list. However, what to do when your machine is not listed? It's not possible to add a machine right here, so you need to select a machine in order to continue. Uh, we have three different options for you. The first option is to see if you can find a machine made by the same manufacturer. Say you have a Rabbit machine. Let's check under the name Rabbit. You have the Rabbit Nibbler 4030. Well, that's not listed, that machine, but the advice is to choose the Rabbit Nibbler 3020 instead. Uh, most machines, uh, machine manufacturers use the same post processor for all machines. Even if there is no Rabbit Nibbler, my, our advice would be to choose a different Rabbit, Rabbit machine like this Rabbit Nor. Okay, that was the first option, that's the easiest one. Okay, if your machine manufacturer is not listed, what can you do then? Okay, then the advice is to see uh, what control software you're using. Most desktop machines uh, work with a PC on which control software is listed and there are a few large manufacturers of control software that have a generic uh, machine definitions. Like here the uh, eating CNC based machine for the eating CNC control software. We have a very well-known name, it's Garble, Garble-based machine. Uh, we have the Linux CNC, where it is. Here is the Linux CNC, uh, obviously Mac 3 and Mac 4-based machines. Well, there are more. So if you can find uh, a control software for which a generic uh, machine definition is present, you can select that machine definition. Okay, and finally option three, when your machine is not listed, then the best chance is to select the default machine. This one was listed as default ISO plain G codes. G codes are an ISO standard, an international standard, and those small differences are present between the various implementations. You have a pretty fair chance that when you select this machine, millimeters or inch, dependent on which unit you use, you have a fair chance that it will already work. So select your machine and press OK to continue. The next step in Nesproto is to test uh, the, po the machine definition that you selected. So to uh, generate an NC file, run it on your machine and test if it behaves properly. If yes, then uh, you have anyway selected the correct NC format. So you are using the correct post processor in Desproto. The post processor is the part that determines how what the NC file should look like. However, the machine definition still may be incorrect. It's important to realize that machine definition and post-processor in Desproto are two different settings. You can see here two different settings as uh, many machines can share the same post-processor. So it makes sense to make these two different things. So when you have the correct post-processor but the machine is not yet correct, then you can change it in the library of machines. Here say you just selected this machine and now it's the default machine and you can see that all settings, the dimensions and speeds are quite simple settings that you can change. You can also uh, call the help function as that will explain each of these settings in more detail. However, we will not do that right now because what you need to do is not edit, but for your uh, machine you need to say copy. So we copy this one and say your machine is the type 4030, uh, give it a proper name, also a proper 
file name which may be the same is not needed and now you can select the correct dimensions and speeds for your machine make any changes that you need the advanced settings are for the rotation axis here you can use the help file as well and this way you can add your own machine definition and you're all set no not correct you're not all set the final step is to set the machine that you selected as the default machine for all your new projects so you can do that in the options menu menu default project parameters and here you can select which machine this is one that you just created to be used for all subsequent projects so in order to see it here you have to say start a new project and now the default machine is used on the other hand if your machine does not uh, accept DNC file that you used for for the first test then the post processor in Desproto needs to be changed you can do that in the library of post processors again a warning let's see what happens in a Mac 3 post processor you see a large number of tab pages line numbers file extensions start end commands the movement commands etc etc where you can make any change that you want again the help information information will give a lot of uh, well extra information that you need to set all those uh, items well you can make any changes and uh, keep testing until uh, the post processor is okay well on the other hand if you feel that is too complicated for you you can simply email us and ask us to configure a post processor for you in order to do this we need a sample and C file that runs ok on your machine we then configure a po can configure a post processor, processor that outputs a similar NC code and send that to you for a test and after a few tests we'll, we will have a post processor that is ok for your machine and we can email you those driver files uh, no charge this is a free service as uh, the more post processors we add the better this is for Desproto so in all cases it should be possible to get Desproto running with your machine